This is Gene Key, SkyServe News. The Associated Press reports police say two people are dead after an early Saturday morning shooting at an apartment complex in northeast Dallas. Officers responded to the call about 5.30 a.m., and they found the bodies of a 32-year-old man and a 28-year-old woman inside an apartment. Police say both had been shot. Investigators said they had little additional information and were conducting interviews and trying to find witnesses. The names were not immediately released. KHOU.com reports a federal court's decision to delay the Texas primary means candidates for the U.S. Senate have a long and potentially expensive slog ahead of them. A judge has said the soonest Texans should expect to vote in a primary is May 29th. That's 84 days later than the original primary date set for March 6th. The longest primary gives lesser-known candidates more of a chance to develop name recognition and raise money. Lieutenant Governor David Dewhurst, the front-runner, will need to spend more money and campaign harder. Hot on his trail are former Texas Solicitor General Ted Cruz, former Dallas Mayor Tom LaPert, and Craig James, a former ESPN college football commentator. The Associated Press reports two fugitives wanted in Kentucky for rape and sexual abuse were caught in Texas after police investigators found out that they had been communicating with a friend on Facebook. According to the Clay County Sheriff's Office, 44-year-old Jerry Lee Callahan and his wife, 40-year-old Rebecca Callahan, were on the run for nearly five years, but officials tracked them down recently in Victoria County, Texas. Sheriff Kevin Johnson said in Hazard that they found out that the two had been talking to someone on Facebook and they were able to obtain an IP address to track them down. The couple is expected to be brought back to Kentucky next week. Both face charges of rape, incest, sodomy, and sexual abuse. If you like the latest Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow on YouTube. Simply search SkyServe News or Gene Key. You can also follow me on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, SkyServe News.